Greetings, I'm Professor Hobo, and welcome to another Hobo, Hobo Technos Tech product review. Now, it's not very often I get to experience truly new technology here on Hobo Tech, but this is one of those times. Okay, this isn't really new technology since it was invented in the 70s, but now they are much more affordable, more durable, and more efficient than ever. I'm here to prove to you today that the only flexible solar panel you should buy in 2023 is a SIGS. So we're not talking about lighting up here. We're talking about Copper Indium Gallium Selenide, or SIGS, C-I-G-S, technology solar panels. Well, these are similar in style to amorphous solar panels, which are fully flexible. You can bend them 360 degrees. The SIGS uses a much more efficient chemistry. They're also virtually indestructible and can be directly walked on after installation without taking any damage. Bouge RV is actually one of the very few brands in America that sell the 200 watt versions and they call theirs the Yuma. But is it any good? Let's find out. Today what I have on the table and what this review is based on is their 200 watt version with adhesive on the back. The 200 watt version is approximately 26 by 86 inches and weighs only seven pounds. This thing is super lightweight. As you can see, it's fully 360 degree flexible, and we're not talking about just you're able to bend it a couple of times and then it starts to crack. SIGS panels are designed to be truly flexible and are able to curve to pretty much any surface. It can be bent and manipulated over and over again without that weird memory where if you bend something, it holds that bend. In other words, you can flex it as much as you like without damaging it. In fact, they're actually shipped like this, rolled up like a carpet. Now, unlike regular solar panels that are at best only IP65 water resistant, the Yuma is rated IP68 waterproof. This is true waterproof and can be fully submerged in up to one and a half meters or five feet of water for up to a half an hour. They're also rated for category four hurricane level winds and 113 pounds per square foot of snow load. These things are brutally tough. And this means they are perfect to use in any type of severe weather conditions, including installation on boats. It's one of the few solar panels you can put on a boat and not worry about it self-destructing after a year or two. You can even put these on your van or RV and protect your roof from hail damage, especially if you live in a place like Texas. What also makes them perfect for use on boats and RV roofs is the fact that the Yuma SIGS panels can also be walked on without taking any damage. So you can install them in places that you normally couldn't and you can put them in sections and areas that you can walk on and dramatically increase your solar coverage. Now, one of the absolute best features and my personal favorite about the Yuma and SIGS panels in general is that they are naturally shade tolerant. Unlike most glass panels, which might only have two or four bypass diodes, the Yuma has a whopping 48 diodes built into it. This means that any cell that is shaded or damaged is automatically bypassed and allows the rest of the panel to continue to produce. You can literally shoot a SIGS panel full of holes and it will continue to function. Now you get a simple crack in a glass panel, it's gonna drop the output into the dirt due to the shading that the broken glass creates on the cells. Then it ends up that glass solar panel is ruined because you can't get it wet because it'll short out the rest of the panel. With the Yuma, these are virtually indestructible and I'm gonna prove that here in just a little bit. Last but not least, the Yuma panels come in two different flavors and two different sizes. You have the Yuma 200 with adhesive backing that you see here. They also offer the same 200 watt with grommets built into the edges instead of the adhesive. There's also a 100 watt version with adhesive or grommets. And then they have a 100 watt compact version which is wider and not as long. So basically you have a plethora of different size and install options to choose from for your application. Oh, let's not forget the incredible warranty these come with. Bouge RV offers a 10 plus two year replacement warranty on the Yuma panel with a 25 year performance warranty. Good luck finding a glass panel anywhere on the market that offers you a 12 year replacement warranty. 
Note that those two extra years that are tagged on to the 10 are only for purchases direct from the Bouge RV website. That's also gonna be the case for the discount code you're gonna get later in this video. So if you end up buying these panels somewhere other than the Bouge RV website, you're gonna lose that two years of extra warranty and the discount code you're about to get making it more expensive. And of course, I took the Bouge RV SIGS panel to a secret undisclosed location where I do what any good professor would do. And that's shoot the shit out of it. So we're right here testing the Bouge RV SIGS panel. And what I mean by testing is we're gonna put some holes in it to show you just how resilient the SIGS panel is with its 48 diodes. And the fastest way I can think of to put holes in it is this. Now I know you guys like to respond to death and destruction on YouTube, so I'm gonna give it to you by destroying this $500 solar panel in a split second. There you have it. Justice is served against the Bouge RV SIGs. Now let's take the Yuma back to my secret outdoor laboratory where we will run it over, stomp on it, call it a sissy, see if it turns us into child protective services or forgives us and continues to work like a good panel should. Okay, here's how we're testing these panels today. We have the one that is riddled with bullets. We have five bullet holes in this one. And then this one is brand new untouched. So I have our testing rig here, which is a Delta II and a Blue Eddy AC200 Max. So I got one from each competitor. They both have really good MPPT controllers, can take more than 200 watts. And I have the bullet ridden one plugged into the EcoFlow, and I have the new one plugged into the Blue Eddy. So let's see which one's putting out what. It's a little difficult to see at the reflections, but you can see we're getting 22 volts, 171 watts, 172 watts. On the EcoFlow, we're getting, amazingly, 166 watts. So the only difference is about five watts. You can see I really did shoot holes. In fact, that one I was kind of worried about because that's on the main lead, but fortunately I didn't completely split the lead in there. Yeah, so we got we got holes damaging the cells in several places and it's making pretty much no difference whatsoever in the output of the panel. There are the specifications if you want to look at them. Give you an idea what the sky conditions are today. Sky is perfectly clear. This is to give you an idea of the angle of the sun. It's around 1 p.m. We're about a week away from the fall equinox in September. And I just have these panels sitting flat on the ground. So this is not optimal conditions. This is actually less than optimal. I do have this solar incidence meter that will tell us how many watts per square meter. Now, solar panels are tested at 1,000 watts per square meter since I'm at high elevation. I do get a little more than that usually. Let's go ahead and aim it exactly at the sun. Looks like we're getting just over 1100 by 1120 watts per square meter. So about 10% more than what you would get at sea level. And so what I'm gonna do now is swap them around. So we'll have the damaged one on the Blue Eddy and the new one on the EcoFlow. Okay, so now we're getting 161 watts on the damaged panel. And on the good panel, 165 watts. Again, about a five watt difference. Now because the Bouge RV6 panels does have 48 bypass diodes and it is very shade tolerant. So I brought these out to throw on there. Let's see how shade tolerant it really is. Random amount of shade. Let's see how it changes the output of the panel. It changes the output to 100 watts instead of 165 watts. So it's very shade tolerant. You're still getting a lot of output. In fact, look, the output just went up slightly. So you're getting 112 watts instead of 165 watts with that much shading on the panel. Now, anybody who knows anything about solar panels knows if you shade a regular solar panel that much, you pretty much get 10 or 20 watts out of a shaded panel like that. Another cool thing about SIGS panels is that they are extremely durable. So you can walk on them no problem. It doesn't hurt them whatsoever. And I'm on gravel, which would destroy a normal flex panel. Look, I got my footprints all over it. I'm walking all over it, doesn't matter. It doesn't hurt it whatsoever. They're completely tolerant to damage. Check it out, it's still outputting 165 watts even though I walked all over it and left my footprints all over it. All right, I'm gonna take this one step further. I'm gonna actually run over this thing with my 1800 pound side by side. <laughs> Thank you. 
So I walked on it on gravel. I ran over it with my 1800 pound side by side on gravel, which would absolutely destroy any other panel. Okay, we're at 158 watts. Uh, pretty much made no difference. Okay, let's do some real damage to this panel. I'm gonna flip it over on this gravel and drag it, pretty much destroying the surface. Here's some big gravel over here. Again, if you would do this to a regular flex panel, well, definitely you wouldn't be doing this to a glass panel, but even a flex panel would never survive this. I'm on some heavy gravel. I'm stomping all over it, man. It's just, I'm seriously damaging the surface of that solar panel. And I'm curious to see, does it make any difference at all? It is scratched up really good. I think I just simulated about 10 years worth of damage here. Look at the surface of this solar panel. It is wrecked. I mean, I have it seriously scratched up. Riddle with bullet holes, scratched, walked on, driven on, stepped on on heavy gravel. Let's see what the output is. 162 watts. It's still outputting almost exactly what it did at the beginning, which was like 165 watts with the bullet holes. There you have it, folks. The testing doesn't get more thorough than that. I essentially destroyed this solar panel by doing all kinds of stuff to it. It still outputs almost exactly what it does, perfectly fine, brand new, unscathed. So that gives you an idea of how long this solar panel is gonna last if you put it on your rig. Now those are some insane results. Not only did we beat the tar out of the Yuma panel, but we shot friggin' holes in it, and the change in output was a mere five watts out of 200, or only a loss of 2.5% of its total output. Now that panel that I just beat the crap out of is still 100% useful and will continue to work for years despite the damage that it took. Now that's not to say that the SIGS Yuma panel from Bouge RV is all rainbows and unicorns. It's absolutely not. There are some downsides. First is the efficiency. Whereas a typical mono glass panel might have a 23 or 25 or 26% efficiency in some cases, the Yuma SIGS is only rated at 16% efficiency. That means you need 30% more surface area to get the same amount of power from a SIGS. Now the difference in a lot of cases is actually much less than that because the Yuma panel is far more shade tolerant than a typical glass panel. So in lower light, poor weather, under a canopy like in a forest, the Yuma will still output more raw watts per square foot than a typical glass panel. Meaning it actually does in the end have a higher efficiency than glass panels under those conditions. Now, if you live in the Pacific Northwest, camp often under trees or at higher latitudes, you'll find out that the SIGS is worth every penny. SIGS tech just isn't cheap and neither is the Yuma. While a typical mono glass panel might cost 80 cents per watt, the Yuma is gonna run almost three times that. And the price is what scares off most folks but once you realize just how badass this technology is and how much better they work in partial shade, which occurs on virtually every RV and van roof, how much easier and non-evasive they are to install and just how friggin' durable they are, I personally think it's well worth the investment, especially if you want a low profile install and don't wanna have to worry about shading, damaging your panels or losing fuel efficiency. Last but not least, they're simply not suitable for install on every surface. And I know that sounds pretty obvious, but I need to make a point of it. For example, if you have a shingled roof, you really can't install this using the included adhesive. It's probably not going to work on fabric tents or bare wood either. The adhesive on this is a lot like a turnabond, if you know what that is. It's a very sticky, flexible, water-resistant kind of two-sided tape. Once it's been used, there is no really reusing it. Now, they do sell versions of this with grommets on the edges that you could use to mount to surfaces such as bare wood or shingled roofs. For those of you that don't trust adhesives on your RV roof, you could opt for the grommet version and use some physical means to mount it. And yes, before I get a zillion questions saying, Professor, what happens if the panel fails? How do I take it off? Is it stuck there forever? Well, I already got this answered by Bouge RV. Basically, all they say is you take a long piece of wire, you put it under the panel, and you kind of go back and forth to remove the panel from the roof, basically separating the adhesive, or you can use a scraper to do the same thing. 
And then while you're doing that, you apply a solution of 95% ethanol to the adhesive, and it basically turns the adhesive back into a liquid, allowing you to take it off. You should be able to use the ethanol to clean your RV roof back to the original factory condition. So what do I think about the sexy Bouge RV Yuma 200 watt panel? Now let me say one thing. I was so impressed with the results of this panel, I got four more of them to install on my Class C. So instead of going through the hassle of drilling holes, mounting tilt kits, and then covering half my roof in lap sealant, worrying about damaging my roof or wrecking my MPGs, I'll simply peel and stick these to my rubber roof and just be done with it. I'm gonna be doing this install in the near future and I will produce a video with those results. Now, besides the durability and ability to walk on the panels, I have a lot of stuff sticking up on my roof that's gonna cause a lot of shade conditions, especially during the winter months. I expect much better results out of these than I would out of traditional glass panels because I have those on my other RV and every time the sun gets into some position that's anything except straight up above, I get shade on one of my panels and it kind of wrecks my input. So that's one of the main reasons why I'm going with these on my other RV. It's also gonna save me like 100, 120 pounds of extra weight by using these panels instead of glass panels. It's also gonna save me several hours or possibly days on installation time since these are just peel and stick. I'm also not gonna have to worry about a tree branch falling or running into a tree branch and smashing up my panels because as you saw, these can take just about anything. Now for the moment you have all been waiting for product price. It's the biggest pain point for folks shopping for solar panels, but I hope to have proven to you today that the UMS 6 panel is basically worth its weight in gold to the majority of folks that need better solutions than glass panels for their RVs, stealth vans, truck campers, pop-ups, boats, or any kind of curved roof, especially if you have a fiberglass roof which should never really be drilled into. So the retail price of the Yuma 200 in either format is $579. Now before that coffee finishes shooting out of your nostrils, I do have an exclusive Hobo Tech discount code that will knock a whopping 28% off of that retail price for a limited time. They told me several weeks. Now that brings the price down to only 417 bucks, which is just over two bucks a watt much more reasonable. Seeing how most folks have no problems paying two or even $3 a watt for those portable folding solar panels that might live five years at best under the good conditions and have no shade tolerance, this seems quite the heck of the bargain of the century in comparison, especially when you factor in that warranty. I do also have codes available for the 100 watt version of this, which is priced generally around the same per watt after discount. So if you are interested in the Yuma 6 panel, there are links in the description of this video below along with the discount codes I mentioned before. I'll also place a link here at the bottom of the screen that you can type in manually along with a QR code that you can scan on your mobile if you're watching this on TV, which will take you on over to the Bouge RV store page where you can check out the Yuma SIG solar panel. I almost forgot to mention the best part. Bouge RV is offering a free gift to anybody that purchases a Bouge RV product off their website using any of my discount codes. Now I do have a global code that works across the entire Bouge RV website. So say you find some MC4 cables or some installation brackets or a battery or something that you like on Bouge RV, you just use the code HOBOTECH. That's all it is, use the code HOBOTECH You'll immediately get a discount that's as good or better than what they offer on the base website, and you'll get your choice of a free gift. Now, this also includes the codes that I provided in the description of this video for the Bouge RV Yuma SIGS panels. So it doesn't matter what you buy, doesn't matter which Hobotech code you use, but you have to use one of my Hobotech codes to qualify for the free gift. Now they did make a specific website for me to explain how this whole gift thing works. So I'll give you the URL or the link in the description of this video. In fact, I'll even put it here at the bottom of the screen to make sure you know where to go. But check this out, it's pretty cool. Hobotech invites you to receive a free gift. So when you go to this website, it will explain to you how this works 
and it'll tell you you need to fill out this form with your order number and where you purchase it from. Now, this does include purchases from Amazon as long as you used my code, which I don't think I currently have any codes on Amazon. You have a choice of three gifts. So first is the baseball cap. Now this is one of the good ones that actually has the adjustable strap on the back. It's not one of the cheap snappy ones. So these are graphics that an artist at Bouge RV designed and I approved for use for merchandise. So check this out. So this is a picture of Professor Hobo riding inside of one of Bouge RV refrigerators. And right there you can see a little cat that is actually Oded. So this would seem to be everyone's favorite graphic. Now, I did a vote on this graphic a long time ago, probably a year ago, and uh, this is the one that won. Most people like this one the best. So you can have the cap, you can have a koozie, which has the same graphic on it and says Hobotech, or you can have a storage bag which says Bouge RV Hobotech, and there's no other graphics on this. So personally, I think pretty much everybody's gonna go for the cap because this is pretty cool. Uh, it doesn't say Hobotech anywhere on it, so you won't be advertising for me. It's just a cool graphic, and somebody might ask you, hey, what's that on your hat? You can tell them all about the channel and how you got an incredible deal on your solar products through Bouge RV and Hobotech. So don't forget to get your free gift if you end up buying the human panels or, like I said, anything else on the website. You just got to use my code and get that order number, apply for your gift on this website, and they will send that to you separately. Thanks for watching. If you learned something today, don't forget to give me that thumbs up below. And if you're not a subscriber already, you know what to do. That's it for now. Till next time. Odin commands you to like and subscribe and clean my litter box. <laughs> That was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Sounded like a firework. Uh-huh.